push something off a shelf in there and it broke a portal between worlds. Honestly, that sounds like what a super-powered cat would do. Does this also jump to Varnhold? Yep. Okay, so that also jumps to Varnhold. Oh, time to get some rest, isn't it? Oh my god, where does this go? We should gather our strength. <laughs> what is this path? <sighs> Talon Peak. All right, rest up before you enter, because you just used I should days never of have walking. Come to the stolen lands. No, not like this. I shouldn't have stayed, but now it's too late to leave. Hey, what's up? You just woke up. Strike when certain. Greater cave spider. Hmm. Wonder if I should buff on this map. If this one's enough to warrant it. It's a long walk here. I'll definitely have to rest before I get back to any other map. So with the following that logic, I might as well. All right, there we go. Not that I care. A fatal mistake. I was actually a little worried about that swarm. I wasn't sure if we had something to deal with that, and then it got one shot by somebody. Well, I knew I had something. Okay, I knew we had something to deal with it. I wasn't sure if we had something um, that could deal with that without like burning spells and stuff. You've lost a chance to resolve this peacefully. Like Jubilos grenades would have been excellent there, for example. So we came in here, went up there, the cave came out up there, we came back down. Where does this go? What the hell? Where are we? The fortress is younger... That was a dragon. The fortress is younger than the Cyclopes... Cyclopses. But it's still old enough to be impossible to discover who built it and why. I just saw a shadow of a dragon pass overhead. I found something interesting. This requires your attention. Click thud. Ugh. I'm not touching that. Thud. Click. Anything is possible. Yes. Okay, so they say Don't click. Hesitate. And then if you do the right thing, it says click. Okay, so there's another button. So if I do this one, it says click. If and I do Lindsay this one, it says thud. If I do this one, it says click. And this one again, it says click thud. 
If I do this one, it says click. Give and if I do this one, it says that. There has to be an additional button. Not that There's I another can. one somewhere. Bandit. Heavily armed men are seated around the fire. They chat casually and pass around a flask, obviously not expecting ambush or eavesdropping in a place like this. Damn Baron and his damn guards sends that ass down the stag lord. Honest people uh, got nowhere to go get themselves some coin. Just look where we ended up. Middle of nowhere. Stealth and eavesdrop. Success. Enough. Cut the whining. We gotta adapt if we want to survive. This birdie will bring us more gold than any trader, and then we can sell ourselves as mercenaries or go treasure hunting. We'll get by. Akun silently, silently nods to you and readies his weapon. Bandits, Valerie whispers, putting her hand on her scabbard. Stealth, eavesdrop. Success. With you in charge, we'll end up with our next broken. Care to explain what demon possessed you to make us climb up a cliff when there's a neat safe path on the other side? Why we gotta bother with all these hooks and ropes? Have you seen that path? Spiders everywhere. Just swarming with spiders. Crawling all around. Damn fat furry beast. I, I hate spiders. <laughs> really? You're afraid of spiders? I'm not afraid of anything. It's just these damn spiders. I'd rather fight a troll than mess with these ugly beasts. Eavesdrop. Oh, watch out! There's a spider in your hair. Ha ha ha, I'm just exploding with laughter. Maybe you should become a bard, huh? Better yet, head straight to the capital and ask the Baron to hire you as a court jester. Just don't go through the front door. There might be spiders inside. Better take a rope and scale the back wall. Abyss take you all with your damn jokes. I'm gonna take a leak. The bandit stands and heads toward you on unsteady feet. Pushing him off the cliff would be really easy right now. <laughs> Shove him off the cliff. With a horrible scream, the bandit falls. His accomplices jump up and grab their weapons. Two arms. <laughs> That's so horrible. We killed we killed a man while he was peeing. Michael Taco get me in trouble. Uh yes, just by mentioning its name, the police are on their way. No, it's fine. I do not know of anyone who has gotten in trouble with ArenaNet for using ta tactical overlay. Hooks, ropes, and hammers. Everything wooden would need to scale a mountain. Thank you, sure. Yeah, keep in mind that it, tactical overlay, it's it's an overlay. It is not a add-on to the game. I don't even think the game can detect that it's running. Hi, Dragon. Quick save. Taco Bell could get you in trouble. <laughs> I mean, that's not what he has, though. Those dragon eggs. As soon as you get close to the nest, a huge shadow moves across the sky. With a shrill shriek, a gigantic bird swoops down on you. Oh, it's not a dragon. Her flapping wings make a veritable hurricane as she moves to protect her nest to her last breath. Oh no, she's behind us. That's not good. Let's finish with quick. Oh man. Got an attack of opportunity. Dude, it might kill Mark. Oh my god. Alright, stop healing. So, if we heal, AoE heal, it's gonna make Muck go conscious, and he'll stand up automatically, which will trigger an attack of opportunity and probably kill him. Critical hit 78. Yo, Jubal lost in most of the damage, and then Ekun just deleted him. Becoming the distracted leads to becoming dismembered. Uh, Amulet of Net Armor plus one. 
bunch of stuff in the nest, including a rock egg. Judging from the size of the nest, this bird could easily carry off a whole horse. You hear the sound of metal scraping nearby. Alright, so there was a lever back there. Oh, it's an exit. We never found the, the click, click, click thing. Unless we failed a perception check to find the last button, which is also possible. Will this ever end? I found there. something interesting. All right. Uh, come up here. I am yours to command. I'm open to your orders. Don't know. All right, so it's gonna be that one, and then that one, and then one of these two. I, I don't know which one. Okay, it's that one, and then this. Hey. What do we find? <laughs> Child's play. Skull Crusher Heavy Mace. Okie dokie. Plus two damage and attack and heavy blow. Whenever you land a critical hit, the target has to succeed at a fortitude saving throw or become stunned for one to four rounds. If the saving throw is successful, they're staggered for one round instead. Don't really need that, but if I hadn't figured out that puzzle, I would have forever wondered what it was. So... For my peace of mind. That, that's my reward for that puzzle, chat. My peace of mind. Alright, let's see where this drops us on the world map. Okay. So we're back here. Alright. Zigzag back down the mountain. Hopefully we don't have to come back to this spot. <laughs> it's really out of the way. Elder Air Elemental. Uh, yeah, you can use bombs. And cast haste. Oh my god, it spins, Jeff! quite a bit of XP. Two Elder Air, elder air Elementals. Alright, continue path. Time to get some rest, isn't it? It's so slow. Or when you're moving through the mountain areas, you just move so slow. We should gather our strength. Have I already been to Sorrowflow? Yeah, I have. All right, this is the area I haven't seen, and as we thought, very simple little uh, connection there. But I didn't know 100%. I tire. Time to search for the spot to rest. I appreciate privacy. Just letting me in drive. To victory! I almost feel bad when we run into these goblin groups because Ekron is like dead, 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 dead. He just becomes a turret against these things. Resting would be nice, don't you think? Yeah, grab all their gear. We can just sell that. Not gonna be worth much, but we can liquidate it. Okay. So, with that, we have to figure out what to do. Um, and I'm not out of ideas, so I'm not ready to Google anything. But I don't see Lindsay's printer or whatever on the map. I don't I don't know where that is. Um could go back home 
and do some tasks that require, you know, my personal attention and use that to make time advance and get some stuff done until the next quest trigger. Akundayo is the goblin slayer. <laughs> and that fight he was. We will prevail. He was like one arrow, one kill. I only have one cast of haste remaining, I'll save it just in case. <laughs> this is a goblin that was shot by one of his arrows. <laughs> it's just a rip cage. There's so much force in those arrows. Follow me! Or don't. Dude, the summon direwolf got like a whole pack that time. It summons like one to three or one to four direwolves, and we got a bunch of them that time. Oh, time to get some rest, isn't it? I don't know how this happened. You see that yellow? So the blue debuff is like tired and the yellow is like dead exhausted. Mukluk is not tired or exhausted. Like he's not even tired yet and they're all like about to die. <laughs> and the pop-up for do you want to rest comes up automatically when the whole party's tired. So since one person never got tired, the others never got to rest. <laughs> Unless I had manually done it, which I did not. Lindsay randomly dooting in the throne room. Okay, so we just rested, so everybody's fine. Back over here. Rusty dogs complete. Bumper harvest failed. Dang it. Uh, faith, let's say opportunity, opportunity, opportunity. Okay. Event of the month. Locals are bored and don't know what to do. Uh, okay. Uh, they're both busy. Okay. Alright, so I'm helping Jubilos level up the treasury. That's done. Fey magic is complete. The event of the month was completed successfully. Amazing discovery. Nice. Yeah, that was only like a 45% chance. Oh boy. We got a bunch of stuff here. Um, okay, first, which of these are problems? An interesting article awaits in the castle. What? Doomsayer scares the townsfolk. Okay, so there's two problems in the throne room. <sighs> what is going on? Jod looks to be puzzled and amused at the same time. Your Grace, I've brought you an extremely unusual message. It's... how should I put it? An essay on your barony written by Jubilost Narthrobble and published only recently. I thought you might like to see it for yourself. Jod hands you a magazine. Items received the Independence Magazine. I'm sure he said good things about us, chat. Judging by his flared nostrils and furrowed brow, something has upset Jod greatly. Your Grace, I have here one of your subjects who goes by the name Remus. We caught him spreading false prophecies, sowing fear among your people. The old man before you is clad in tattered rags. His gray hair and beard are filthy and matted. Judging by the smell, he has not bathed in some time, perhaps years, and you have to fight the urge to cover your nose. Oblivious, the old man picks at his beard in silence as if trying to catch lice. You're not certain he even knows where he is. Jod straightens, his face flushing. As if that wasn't enough, this, Aristotle, forgive my words, prophet, blasphemed against the deities, proclaiming we must bow to some false god. At the mention of God, the old man shudders and his eyes go wild and was feverish. The goddess will rise from the forest, rise from the swamps. You've cut down her trees and drained her marshes, but she will take no more of this. Fall to your knees and repent and she will grant you a swift death. 
Your grace, you have to deal with this madman. Uh, Muck, that's Ramus, like Legendary Wolf Child IRL. Legendary Wolf Child? I can understand you typing Ramus. I don't know Legendary Wolf Child. Ramus, I'm the only sane person in this city, this hideous, ugly city. Its stone buildings claw into the soil and think themselves safe. But the sky shall open, the earth shall tremble, and the city shall crumble beneath its pride. No, that's in Wrath of the Righteous. That's later. Aristotle, have mercy. Will you be silent, you fool? And another world shall swallow the ugly city and its careless dwellers. And only the rain shall weep for the emptiness left in their place. We already met just outside of Oleg's trading post, remember? Ramus gives you an absent-minded look. It seems he's at a loss. It's up to you to decide this homegrown Aroden's fate, Baron. I await your command. Aroden was the immortal Aslanti who raised the Starstone from the bottom of the inner sea. Um, let's talk about your prophecy, Ramus. He looks at you silently, pulling at his beard. What is this other world you speak of? What will happen to this city? A different world, fierce and wild, where mountains impale the sky, where rivers change direction, where the very trees talk to the stars. Ramus swallows and stares ahead as though lost. The wild world will consume the city, shape it in its own image. It will be the end of all. How do you know? The goddess showed it to me in my visions. She whispered about a beautiful new world. She told me she would heal nature's wounds, but I don't want it. He shakes his fist, threatening someone invisible. She must be stopped. Sacrifices. We must offer sacrifices. Goats, cows, horses. That will be enough. It must be enough. Tell me about this goddess. I would know more about her. Her fury is like a river after a storm. Her voice, thunder in a summer sky. Her touch is cold and sharp as a sliver of ice. She's as beautiful as a dream. He stutters and then blushes. It's been 40 years since I last longed for a woman. But her... Hmm. Diplomacy. Oh, man. I have to roll a 13 or higher out of 20. So an angry goddess will lay waste to our city because we drained her swamp? She must be a petty goddess indeed if she takes part in the affairs of mortals, even on such insignificant occasions. Perhaps you simply had a dream and it merely seemed real. Failed. You don't understand. You're blind. I'll make you see. Hmm. I... Uh, for, like, freedom of speech means you have the freedom to say what you want, but that doesn't mean that you can't be held accountable for it. And if this guy is in the streets, like, screaming at people and causing people to be scared and frightened and stuff like that, he gotta go. Drive the heretic away from the barony. Use the whip to encourage him to make haste. It's a harsh penalty or grace, but a just one. Anyone who preaches fear and causes discord must face the consequences. Jod bows, signaling the end of the conversation. Okay. Uh, where's Jubilos Magazine? The Independence Magazine. Oh, this should be good. Alright, hold on. Drink a water first. <laughs> whipped him hard, yes. Have you ever dreamed of becoming a baron? It's not that hard. All you have to do is go to the Stolen Lands, a tiny region located between Bravoy and the River Kingdoms, and a source of dispute for those two for many years. Miles and miles of woods, swamps, and infertile clay soils infested with monsters and bandits. It's something like a white elephant. One can't hold it, but it also can't give up on it and let the neighbor have it. For many years, the rest of Sword Lords have been promising a title to anyone who manages to bring some semblance of order to this god's forsaken land. There is just the usual way rulers solve their problems. There are plenty of adventure seekers, and you can always find another naive brave soul who'd gladly risk his or her life without prepayment. There were many who took the bait. Their sun-bleached bones still litter the banks of muddy lakes and lying piles under crooked trees. You can imagine how astonished I was then when someone managed the feat, breaking the antlers of a local kingpin called the Stag Lord and turning the bandit's fort into the capital of a new barony. Of course, I departed for these lands immediately to witness with my own eyes the one who managed to install control over the stolen lands. 
Let's be honest, the achievements of the new Baron are still quite moderate. My letter didn't get there in time. I hope the courier who had to deliver it is alive and well. Since no one could meet me, I decided to get to the capital on my own, which was a strategic mistake for the road building in the Barony functions even worse than its mailing service. I barely made my way through the mud and wind up fallen trees just to narrowly escape drowning at a river ford. The only thing that kept me going was the anticipation of the joy the Baron would express when I told him about the marvelous scientific novelty called a bridge. <laughs> Furthermore, a horde of hungry kobolds jumped out from the underbrush. But just when I was getting ready to kiss my life goodbye, the Baron himself emerged from the woods, fought off all the pests, and helped me get to my firm ground. As it turned out, the Baron has a strong justification for neglecting roads and bridges. While his capital is under construction, he lives on the road and, with the help of his companions, patrols the realm, dealing significant damage to the local ever-hungry fauna. May the plague take it. Trolls, boggards, will-o'-wisp, and giant spiders really impede the improvement of public services. I've offered the Baron my advice and my active uh, help. You can spit in the faces of those who claim Jubilos can only criticize. You could try out your luck as well. The title of ruler is already taken. The young Barony offers plenty of vacancies, both for laborers and for soul swords. Just don't repeat the mistake of your predecessors. Demand a payment in advance. And for those who prefer to learn about Wildlands and Dangerous Adventure from the magazine pages, we'll meet in the next issue. Muck's new intro is pretty long. <laughs> Let's see, can we talk to him about his magazine? Uh, I read your article about the barony. Should I be flattered? Flattery is entirely foreign to my works. Everything I write is the absolute truth and never intends to satisfy egos. Jubilos looks at you over his glasses, but in case you were wondering, yes, I'm impressed with what you've done. Thank you. I'm fed up with you. You need to leave. No. <laughs> okay. Early Redditor. Thanks, Juby. Oh, no. Important essay published. Done. Doomsayer scares townsfolk. Handled. Uh, we have 139 build points. Okay. So, down here, we can build the blacksmith for that one guy. Dragon's armor shot. Uh, plus one to economy when next to a longhouse. Okay. Alright. And... What was the other thing? Trade guard. Has Bakken's alchemical shop. Okay, so that's already done. And Tustale. Was there any special thing I need to build here? No, not really. Okay. Alright. Um... The road to Oleg's trading post costs 80 BP to solve. Okay. Jubilost. Enchanted wind. Let's see what we can do here. Start all these. And... Oh boy, are they all busy? No, I can't help any of them. Uh... Alright. Okay, two of them just finished. All right, cheap publicity triumphed, nice. And faith and loyalty, the subjects to the Baron pledge their undying loyalty and support, their opportunity should be seized, nice. Okay, new settlers, caravan of new settlers into the region. These are people dreaming of better life, seeking a new home, perhaps they'll find happiness here. Trade taxes is a problem. Howling wolves, uh, that can wait till he's done. Okay. 
Uh, some half-elf trading fabric in the capital discovered a loophole in the law which made it possible to avoid paying taxes. The news spread quickly through Merchant's Guild. Measures should be taken immediately or the treasury takes a loss. Okay. And he's still doing that. Alright. Three days until Kassil becomes available. The patrols sent by the general were of no use. Oh, failed. The gambler. Okay, two more tasks finished. 